Okay, let's go again. Okay. Um, I just want to... Um, I don't know what I'm going to do this morning. Um, plan until I drop or something. I'll play French. Maybe a winner with a bishop a5 wasn't bad the other day. Oh, okay. If I just ignore that, if I don't take on d4 just to confuse him. Um... I can play knight d6 if he wants. It's not that bothers. It's not bothered at all, in fact. Okay. What about here? I don't know. I get this C file pressure like yesterday. Potentially. Um Is that passive for me? What about check here? Queen f2. I can take and then take the knight. F g3, knight g3. Isn't queen h4 good here? Just check, I don't know, king f8. There's queen b4, king g8. What about bishop d7 as well? Hmm, this diagonal. <clears throat> Something like give up the exchange, surely. Knight g3, I suppose you could take, take castle queen side. In that position, well, his bishop would be pinned, so then bishop be 5 and castle. And bishop, I don't know. No, I don't, I don't believe that. Right, there's knight f5. Looks like a pawn to me. A pawn has been nabbed from the opening. <clears throat> oh, castle queen side. Stylish protection of d5. I've got secure d5. About h6 and g5, so on my knees, e5 pawn. He plays h4, I guess, after h6. Yeah. <clears throat> Prospects here. Plan. Um, Bishop's a bit dead. I could play g5 and get it back. I think I'll do that. Give up, give up d5 though in the process. Get my king to c6, he's always got c4. I play b5 first. I play rook c7 to c4. Oh, f6. Um, do I really want to give up d5 that quickly? What about minority attack on this side of the board? If I play b5 and aim for a minority attack to fracture the structure here, we can keep g5 in reserve. So king b6, a5, king c5, b4, try and break the structure of this pawn chain. Minority attacks, minority of pawns attacking majority of pawns, so minority of pawns. Okay. Um, oh dear, h5 though. Is he going to really play h5 here? He's going to break my structure on this side with h5. Ouch. Uh, so maybe a lockdown if he doesn't play it. I'll play h5 myself. I don't really want to play h5 myself though. Maybe he's worried about d4. This blockade, he's got to keep it up. I'll play a5. Oh, okay. Okay. Is he going to give me an A file? If I swap this pawn for a rook on A2. If I get a rook on A2. Okay, here I can play this anyway. And a C4. Okay, C4. So I'm king C5 first. Get out of these pins. 
So rook eight and c four. Uh, this king takes b four. Okay, that's not happening. We'll have rook a seven to a two. War to a four. If I get a rook to a four, he takes. There's b two pressure. Also, there's pressure on f four if he doesn't. Okay, so I think rook a seven a four. D four's lock and key. Um, so rook a seven to a four plan looks a bit better than before. The king's more active. These are targets on the. Oh no, that's ruined everything, hasn't it? What about d four here? Don't tell me there's c four. No, there isn't. I just take that. Okay, so I still get access to f4. Maybe I also got d3 now on the cards, or d take uh, d3. Uh, well, the king's pretty good. It's king e4. Go on the rampage with the king. I'll try and get Zugzwang again. I think that's a key for a lot of endings. Just try and. Get a Zogzwang. If I get King C2 in, very aggressive King indeed. Without getting mated, hopefully. Bishop B3 just cut down the rook. Bishop C2, then B3. Okay, I think B3. Oh, there's Bishop E2. This could be embarrassing for the King soon. King e4 though. Okay, I don't want to give him a free pass pawn. If I just take to get a tempo, which could be handy. Maybe bishop d5 or rook g8 or rook a8 for rook a2. Or just rook c8. What about just simply rook c8 here? And I play king c2. I can't see the prospects there. If I win b2. Oh, he's going to play e6. Hold on. If I just mess this up again, oh, I can sack that. He sacks back. I'll, I might win the king and pawn if I'm lucky. Uh oh. Takes, takes, takes. Can we two? Oh no, I don't know. I think I've. Uh, e6 is a pain. Is there an improvement waiting for bishop d7? Maybe I'll play that instead. Extra bit of time. So king c1. Oh no, he's got a pass pawn there. I think I've just got to go for his d4, his f4. <laughs> I've gone and lost it, haven't I? Is this losing? <laughs> I've actually gone and lost this position. That is looking tragic. Force the pawn on the dark square. Oh, eight seconds, I've just lost it. Wow, <laughs> my endings are bad. <laughs> This was a nightmare. <laughs> Six seconds. If I keep the bishop trained on. No. 
Wow. <laughs> Gotta laugh. All right, let's have a look then. Um, it's mostly winning all the way through, except for rook c8. Let's play rook a8. Oh dear, oh dear. This one. So rook a8. What is white doing? You take care. Say this pawn's still dangerous. <laughs> I think it was tricky, maybe it was tricky, you know. So if we go back to h5, so this has a bearing on f7 and e5, then playing h5. Is a lesser evil just play g5 here? Because I can squash that bishop actually. So he just takes, uh, you know, is that a big deal? I play g4, squash the bishop. Play rook h8. This, this rather have this one than that one coming down at me. So the way I played it, I took here and I gave him that, and then that became significant. If we look at this, so if I just um, maybe lesser evil time this pass pawn here. But I think the key thing is squashing the bishop as well in this position with g5, g4. If we look at this, is it really? Is there any hope for white here? So he plays a check. It looks pretty hopeless, really, this position, because e5 is dropping as well. This rook is not able to support that. Um, let's, let's imagine a scenario like this. I mean, it's just, you know, it's not, it's not, even I can't lose this position. <laughs> it's, just, it's just really bad, isn't it? So G takes H. I actually gave him counterplay on on E5 because F7 is is a kind of virtual uh, stopper for E5. So he got rid of F7 and blockade. Ah, oh, dear, oh dear. And in this position, I don't know. Um, if I just noticed that, um, I take here. He's got a winning position here anyway. It's porn. <laughs> it's a tragedy. Uh, another tragedy this morning. Comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks so much.